y'all welcome back to my channel it's tylo's mom here y'all know what to do keep liking these videos make sure y'all share these videos make sure y'all are subscribing to this channel leave them comments kings and queens i see the support i feel the love i listen it's tremendously appreciated honestly y'all we monetize now y'all that's what we did and we monetize so we got a lot more content coming y'all but y'all let me tell y'all what's been going on with me y'all already know still over here trying to find my son to daycare but he home with mommy but we've been doing a few things making a few runs going a few places taking him to some play places so he can play with other kids and me and him can run around tire him out and everything because it's starting to get cold here up, up in you know ny so um you know you got to take more indoor places now so that's what i've been doing with my baby I love that little boy so much and everything like that. Me and my husband are still good. Me and this man sat up here and, and I, I listen, I played basketball in high school. He was the football player. So we betted on the uh, Tennessee and Pittsburgh game. I think that's what it was. Yeah. <sighs> Why they lost, right? Because he's from Memphis. So, okay, of course, he going to take Tennessee. And we lost. I'm like, man, I ain't talking to you no more for the rest of the night. Good night. He like, nah, I mean, they did some dumb shit out there tonight. But I'm like, man, please, you supposed to know. But, yeah, that. But uh, shout out to my little family. But, um, yeah, y'all. And then I had an issue where, let me, let me explain something to y'all. My content, I come off the dome with it, okay? What I'm saying is I come on here, turn my camera on, I do my commentary, just like everybody else. I watch other reactors, other gossip channels. I respect everybody's channel. If I don't like what you're doing on your channel, I ain't got to report you. I ain't got to strike you. I just simply get the fuck off. That's respectfully. That's all I can do at the end of the day. So my thing is, is when it comes to my content, if um you ever want to use my content, you need my permission. Ask me. Yes, we're all talking about the same thing as reactors and, and, um, you know, got some channels and, you know, whatever you want to call yourself. But at the end of the day, um, don't take my content, put it in your video, and then don't ask me. Because all I'm going to do is strike your video and get it taken down. I don't have time for it, and I won't go back and forth. I said what I said, simple as that. I had an issue with that, had to get the video taken down, don't got time for that. So we're going to move past that, but that's just real quick. Then I'll be seeing women coming in my comments, baby girl. If your homegirl, if that's your homegirl over there that's talking about the same content as me, don't come over here trying to promote her. I don't got time for that. You go over there with your homegirl, you play promoter over there, and you play security over there for her channel. Don't come over here in my comments trying to promote somebody else's channel. That's just disrespectful. Even when I go on, on other people's channels, I don't promote my channel. I go over there. I'm a subscriber. I'm just watching just like everybody else. I'm respectful like that, so please respect me. Because all I'm going to do is report you. I don't have time for that. But, um, y'all. Mm, 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 mm. We got to talk. We got a lot to talk about, y'all. It's been a lot going on. Y'all already know. All I do is sit back, uh, relax, and observe. Because y'all already know. I said, I'm coming back with a vengeance. Who's that girl? Da, 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 da. Come on. I was like, I'm coming back with a vengeance. This has been so much going on, y'all. We're bringing all the McIntyres to the front of the of, of the forum, y'all. We're bringing everybody. We're bringing everybody. Wood, this is for you, because we all know, you know, spray yourself real quick, because we already know you still drinking. You be looking like a, a fish out of water in some of the videos, for real. And at the end of the day, that barbershop video, that wasn't it. Your wife should not be in the barbershop. You should have told her big ass to stay in the car. Stay in the Rogue. Stay in the Nissan Rogue, babe. That shit was given stalker. It was given side chick. This is the first time we out in public. It was given a child at the barbershop. It wasn't okay. We got it. Come on now. And then, y'all, peach, 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 peach McIntyre. Lordy, Miss Claudie. I Lordy Daughty. Y'all, it, it it the transition. It listen, we keep saying that Wood is the eighth child. Fuck that. Wood is the only adult over there. Everybody else is children. 
Wood and probably Gregory McKay got the most sense. That's it. Everybody else is children. Y'all, y'all been seeing this shit? <laughs> y'all have been seeing this shit? Y'all, listen. Uh, where we gonna start at? First of all, Gregory McKay, I'm so happy to see you. Listen, you was at the little Paramore concert at your school. They was down there doing all that. Once I seen the boy stick his leg out and start playing the guitar and he was going like that, I was like, oh yeah, they about to jam. Go ahead, go ahead, get go out into society. You was with your little friends. Um, do your thing, honey. Uh, only thing I got to say is it's a damn shame that your mom, right, Peach, it's a damn shame that them kids said that they was on your live watching you while they was in school, in class with your son. So it lets you know that you had some kids from your son's school watching you and you still proceeded to act the same way. And you talking about you love your children. So Gregory, we happy to see you get doing your thing, getting out doing positive things, go ahead. Get away from your damn mama in that crazy ass house. Go out and be around some normal people. You Soon you're going to meet a little girl. She ain't going to like your mom because she going to realize your mom crazy. And then you're going to start going over and sneaking out with the girl and stuff like that. You're going to realize your fucking mom is a nut. Then at the end of the day, this is what I'm going to need you to do, Gregory. When your mom start acting crazy and doing that crazy mood switching shit, the best way for you to get that shit to stop, you got to be the older brother. You the older brother. I'm sorry I got to put you in this position. Turn on your camera. Get your camera. And be like this. Start recording. Hmm. Be like, go ahead, mom. You want to act up? Go ahead. Say what you... Go ahead. Act up. Bet you she'll stop that shit with you. Bet you she won't leave you without shoes ever again. And that was just a damn shame. I'm sorry. Listen... I'm sorry to you that you had to go through that at your damn school. I'm sorry that your mama had to bring it to your motherfucking school and make it about her. But I'm happy that them mother, them people at that school was like, they was over there saying, she's, oh, yeah, she's, yeah. She's a crazy one. Yeah. Bitch, you went up there to that school acting like you ain't got no motherfucking sense. And that's a damn shame. You made that shit all about you when all you had to do was bring the shoes back. Then you sat up there and motherfucking lied, right? You still brought the shoes back to the school. But what, it took you some time? You had to make it seem like you had a, a mental breakdown about the damn shoes. When really, that, 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 that wasn't what you was mad about. Your ass was mad about Wood over there handling them responsibilities. And then on top of that, y'all right now, listen. First of all, the outfit you had on going to Top Golf was hideous. How in this? That's what it was. It was straight hideous, but we know you don't know how to dress. And then on the top of that, we all know Wood didn't pay for shit. Listen, Wood is going, listen, Wood going to pay to take a woman out that he want to fuck and that he want to be with and shit like that and want to show off. She said, what? Let's go to Top Golf. I pay for it. Yeah, I mean, let's go. You know what? He just gonna mumble. So that's exactly how that happened. All this shit going on now is, listen, y'all. At the end of the day, if she would keep her motherfucking mouth shut, that house would be smooth sailing. But she can't. When shit don't go her way, everything goes haywire. Everybody, listen. And then everybody had a right to call CPS on your motherfucking ass. Whoever called, listen, that shit was funny too. It's about to be a what? Girl fight? Listen. Listen, hey, listen, I watch, listen, I watch fee. Get a fee, get a fee, fuck it, get a fee, fuck it, fuck it. That shit be entertaining to me. Get her ass. If you about to be, if you about to go down there, go down there. Fuck it, fuck it. Scare her ass it, it, way more than she need to be scared. Scare her ass straight. Maybe she'll start acting regular, start acting normal. You mad because people, and then you talk about people about to go to jail. Girl, ain't nobody going to jail because ain't nobody lying. That's exactly why you getting your ass on here and trying to play damage control. First of all, my thing is those videos that you posted after the fact of you having that manic meltdown and police being at your motherfucking house. Tell me, I love you. I love you. Listen, 
It sounded like a psychopath, a lady on the way to being on an episode of fucking Snap to me. That's all that shit sound like. Then on top of that, what pissed me off, because like I said, I grew up in an abusive household. Bitch, you think because you okay, that everybody else around you is okay. And that shit that you did was forgotten. And, and we just going to act like all that ain't happened. We just going to act like you ain't be you don't be around here cussing these kids out. Because that's your problem, too. Yo ass, Peach. Hmm. Yo ass be over there telling on your motherfucking self. Y'all caught that in that live where she was over there saying, um, and if you want to be, uh, you say you want to be a patient mother or something like that, you have to be what you want to be. Some shit like that. Because I really can't stomach to watch her like that. But she was saying some shit. Where she was like, and then you, you, you'd say you want to be a patient mother. Then you turn around and you say, you pissy ass. You call your kids pissy ass and pissing in the fucking bed and all that other stuff. It's like, girl, you be telling on yourself because that's exactly how you be talking to them kids in that house. Yeah, that's what you do. You be around there charging at them motherfucking kids like your ass crazy. But you won't charge at nobody your own size. Charge at the girl in the jerk cut. You didn't. You stood there, didn't you? You had enough sense not to run up on her, but you'll run up on your own kids, huh? You be in the house scaring the fuck out them kids, getting all up in them kids' face, probably yelling in them kids' face. Oh, it's getting me hot. Listen, it's getting me hot just talking about it. Mm -mm, it's getting me hot just talking about it because I know you do. So when people called and made these false reports, so you say, they had every right to. Yeah, yeah. Acting all manic like that on the fucking internet. I would have called on your motherfucking ass too. I ain't got time for all that. But I would have called on your motherfucking ass too. Because them kids is obviously in a toxic environment. Then them kids still walking around looking tired. They don't look happy. Fuck you trying to buy them stuff and take them everywhere. They don't look happy. Because they can't get over exactly what just happened. And then they don't know when it's going to happen again. Because you over there acting like ain't nothing happened. So I say everybody, they had a right to call on you, period. The little head, the little bounty you trying to put on people like you, uh, 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 El Chapo or something, or you in the Mexican mafia, girl, cut that out. Cut that out. Shouldn't nobody tell you shit. You know what they should have, exactly what they did. They should, they should do you exactly how you do everybody else. Take them money. Where them dollars at? Oh, uh, where them dollars at? Oh, uh, where them dollars at? That's exactly what they said to your ass. And they would have, and they should have gave your ass false information in exchange for the money. And when they got the money, they shouldn't have sent your ass shit. Just like you do, people. Then on top of that, y'all, let's get something straight here. I seen in her comments that was really pissing me off. Choice. First of all, one thing she said in her video, Choice looks just like Wood. Bitch, no, he don't. Go call Choice Real Dad. And have choice real dad come stand next to him. That's who the fuck he look like. He don't look like you. And he don't look like Wood. They look like total strangers standing next to each other. Simple as that. Then on top of that, I read it. I read somebody in her comments talking about some people shouldn't be talking about how um she dresses her kids. He looks clean. He looks happy. He looks healthy. No, the fuck he doesn't. He looks like he's filled up with sugar. He looked like he anxious. He looked like he ready to beat another dog up. D digging another woman purse like he was doing over there at that amusement park. Mm, and she and she wasn't fucking saying shit until the camera zoned over there. And then she realized she had to say something. So, first of all, she shouldn't. First of all, get that boy used to wearing what he needs to wear. The size that he needs to wear. Y'all shouldn't be. Y'all delusional anyway over there. The delusional patch. But at the end of the day, we're concerned because that boy should not be walking around in them little ass clothes like that. Take wonderful clothes off right now and put on some regular size clothes. You got people out here acting like we don't know how to dress you. If if it was a mama with some sense, she would talk it into him. But she ain't got no motherfucking sense. She don't even care. So she's like, go ahead, just put put on put on gorgeous clothes if you want to. It, it don't matter to her. She's going to say it's what choice, what makes choice happy. He, he's wearing a fucking dress. What are you talking about? Couldn't stand it. Then on top of that, girl, you taking over all the fucking channels. We don't want to. Listen, nobody wants to fucking see you on Gregory McKay channel. That's Gregory channel. Let him have his fucking channel. You done ran your motherfucking mouth. 
You go do damage control on your fucking channel for somebody that'll believe it. Get off Wood channel. Let Wood do what he want to do. You, you want to be in control of everything. And all you going to do is make all these other channels around you fall. Take your L like a G. And do damage control on your own damn page. I can't stand seeing that. Then on top of that, the way you, oh my gosh, the outfit you wore to court, I would have locked your ass up alone for that. Going up in there looking all sloppy. The sweater just, just oh man, oh gosh. Ugh, ugh. Girl, you look like an egg walking up in that bitch. I said, ugh, no, no, no. They should arrest her just for coming up in there looking like that. That's exactly what they should have done. Then you sitting up in there, she's sitting in there laughing and shit, and um, and just recording. Like it's funny that you in here a whole fucking mom in here for driving without motherfucking insurance with all your motherfucking kids in the car. And you in here laughing. That's why I said Wood is the only mature one. Wood, listen, listen, at the end of the day. They definitely should have locked her ass up when she went up in there in that courtroom recording and bouncing around and laughing and shit like she a child. Then at the end of the day, Wood, you had every right. Wood called her when the police was at they motherfucking house and was like, why the fuck police here? Yo, get her, Wood. Get her. Get her. Get her, Wood. I brought you something. Because we, we're getting away from the real, what really needs to be done. I brought you a vacuum cleaner, Wood. I know you do your big one with that, so I'm, I'm, hey, do with it what you may, all right? We're sick of this. Listen, on behalf of everybody on my channel, we're sick of this shit. We sick of what, she, listen, we sick of her putting y'all through this. At the end of the day, I mean, Wood, you're wrong too. Don't get it, don't get it fucked up. You're wrong too. But at the end of the day, it's, it's, it's her. You need to, she need the straight jacket. They need to come pick you up. Then on top of that, why you was scared? If you were talking about the past of not wanting to live, why were you scared to go back home and face them police? Because I don't care what nobody say. Ooh, ooh. I don't care what anybody say, y'all. Wood, wake up. Wood, wake up. I don't care what anybody say, y'all. She ain't go back to that motherfucking house. All she did was drive around from park to park to park to park, sitting there in her car, looking around paranoid, hoping they don't pull up on her ass. That's what she was doing. I, I, I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that. It's some things, like I said, I see right through the bullshit. Right through the bullshit. Same thing with the situation now, too. She keeps saying the same shit about the wood other children. About um the 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 daughter. Bitch, you keep talking about it. That's why it's like you know you got you know he got another child. We all know. Cut that shit out. Stop bringing it up. We know he got another daughter. We know she's gorgeous and you know yeah, but we know she, we know he got another daughter. Cut that out. Cut that out. Mm -mm. Cut that out. Like I said, all this shit is just too much for me. Making me chuckle. For real, y'all. Listen, my name is Kerry. Listen, uh-uh. I, I, listen, I've been seeing everything. I said, what the fuck? What the what? What the what? Then on top of that, then what I can't stand about her, it's like, it's like, how do I put it? It's like everything now, everything, she just loves doing everything now because Wood done got up and got out of bed. Because Wood ain't on the toilet no more looking at videos. Now now life's great. What, what Glow said? Hey, anyways, life's great. Listen, she just, I can't, listen, I can't stand that because then once... Listen, once Wood just, because Wood ain't over there telling her nothing. Wood just over there stacking his money because Wood about to go. Wood about to leave. Wood like, hey, I ain't about to keep putting up with this shit. That's what Wood said. So Wood said, I'm about to go and I'm going to just be quiet. Y'all seen that video about, she talking about Wood, Wood, let, let's go through with the divorce. Girl, the Wood said, 
All right, what? <laughs> what? 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 Was about the Texas uh, side chicks and let them know. Look, I'm on the way. She about to let me go. I'm on the way. No more calls. No more sneaking off to the bathroom. I'm on the way. Okay, cause was a pimp. I don't know what you heard about him. Mm hmm. But he's a pimp. Mm hmm. That's what Woods said. That's what was said, y'all. Then on top of that, let's get something straight. Wood ain't as bad as she try and make him seem. Because I do see Wood getting up out there. Because my thing is, your wife always the one with the motherfucking camera. She can't never do nothing because she always got the motherfucking camera. She got to have it out. Got to have it in everybody's face. Just like a mama. Mm. But... Wood would be over there. Wood was over there passing out that candy. Drunk, but he was over there passing out that candy. And um he was over there taking them kids trick-or-treating. Go on, Wood. I mean, one thing we seen, damn, bitch. You like she said. Over there drunk, helping passing out that candy. Then on top of that, one thing I see him doing is helping your fat ass get up and get them kids ready for school. He may not get up when you go in there and try and scream him up but he wake his ass up because my baby dad used to just act like he was fucking deaf and didn't hear the baby crying but he had to get his ass the fuck up out of here you don't hear the baby crying okay well then if i'm gonna keep getting up oh no you got to get the fuck up out of here mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. and then on top of that my thing is is i hope they take your black ass to jail no, leave all the other content creators alone. And then on top of that, let's get something straight here. As reactors, as gossip pages, y'all, let's, hey, hey, let's, let's keep, we got to keep the enemy at our, listen, at our eye, okay? Let's not lose focus here on who the fucking enemy is, all right? She's the enemy, okay? I don't want to see everybody beefing with each other, all right? I mean, I ain't trying to jump in nothing. I'm just saying. Let's keep our eye focused on the enemy. Him. Or her. I don't know. Then on top of that, bitch, stop doing videos and lives of you over there looking like finesse two times while Wood is in the back looking like a maid. Stop it. Then on, lives, then on your lives, all you do is confirm that you a fucking hater. You swear everybody got they start. Because one conversation with Peach McIntyre and all of a sudden her whole life just changed. His whole life just changed. Or maybe from talking to you, they just realized they motherfucking life just needed to change. They needed to make a change before they ended up like yo ass. But at the end of the day, y'all, it's, it's, listen, it's hell for them kids in that house. Look at what they just went through. And now they got to sit up there and act like none of this shit happened. Then on top of that, y'all pay attention. At the end of the day, the shit she be saying, oh, this is not happening in my house. The shit she's trying so hard to convince the internet that she's not having happened to her in her house is going on. It might be stuff going on with Gorgeous. It might be stuff going on with the other kids. It might be stuff going on with choice in that house. It's shit going on in that house, y'all. Y'all probably would not even imagine. So at the end of the day, you still got to keep them kids in y'all prayers. Because this bitch right here, mm -mm, she crazy. Then at the end of the day, you got the delusional ass people that follow her too. So at the end of the day, this train wreck is going to keep continuing and keep continuing and keep continuing and keep continuing. And we just going to have to keep sitting back and just watching it until we, we destroy this motherfucking demon. For real, for real. We need some holy water, some vegetable oil. We need some mace. We need a taser. Because, you know, if we we'll start acting up, we're going to have to tase his ass too. They should have came with the straight jacket when they came. The police came. Even when she was running skirt. They should have came with a straight jacket and said, Miss McIntyre, let's go. Because your ass is crazy. They should have came with the straight jacket. They should have came with the manpower. I called the mayor and told her what the fuck was going on over there in that house. And I told her she need to send all her, she need to send her manpower. They should have. You know what I was thinking about? When your ass is out there driving in that car, refusing to go home because you were scared. 
They should have sent the drone out to find you. That's what they should have did. I, I said they should have sent the drone. They should have sent the drone, y'all. Mm-mm. 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 But at the end of the day, I mean, the train wreck been going on for years on top of years. So the kids have grown up in dysfunction. They're going to continue to grow up into the, the, in dysfunction until they get away from it. Then on top of that, I hope her family, y'all see her when you see her. Don't pay her ass no mind when she up here trying to restart that motherfucking flame of that beef and talking about y'all. Just don't even listen to her. You called CPS on your brother because you was mad at your brother. Point blank, period. You was having a manic episode and you was mad at your brother. So you decided to call CPS on, on a child that you say was in danger. We don't. We didn't see if he was in danger, but we see that them kids over there is in fucking danger around your fucking ass. Po point blank, period. Best believe it, y'all. She gonna end up hurting one of them kids because she gonna end up snapping on them one of them mourners when she having a manic episode when Will finally get his money that he got sewn up in that, that long trench coat. Mm. Yeah, what? Caught your ass. He got that money he got sewn up in that trench coat. He gonna put on that hat and he gonna he gonna leave and her ass gonna be over there screaming just like she was that morning. She gonna fuck around and end up hitting one of them kids. Y'all mark my words, believe it. It's happening. If it ain't already happened, it's building up to it. Y'all don't hear me. It's always well. Listen, just say alleged. Listen, nothing with this lady is alleged. Nothing is allegedly, y'all. We figured this shit out. Even with the daddy situation, we still waiting on the DNA test with that. Then on top of that, y'all, she'll do anything to keep wood. So at the end of the day, y'all think she ain't um, convinced this man not to take DNA tests or even falsified and got some fake DNA tests just to make sure that everybody around him thought, he thought, the people on YouTube thought that, oh, what is my only, um, what is the only... Uh, man, I'm, I've ever been with. Come on, y'all. Don't make me tell you. Y'all already know. At the end of the day, y'all, we're going to keep sitting back watching this motherfucking train wreck. We're going to keep sitting back and watching it. And I'm telling y'all right now, I'm telling y'all right now, don't be surprised if y'all see her on Snap somewhere. Simple as that. People keep thinking that this shit, oh, it's just for views. It's just for views. No, this bitch is really crazy. Everybody keep calling on her. Keep doing what you need to do. I don't, I, I don't, hey, if I was down there, shit, I would have done more than call. But, hey, I'm up here in New York. If she was in New York, like I said, she would have been got ran up on. They would have been stomped her out in a pair of Sims. You heard? Like, they would have been got her. They would have been stomped her out. Especially you over there talking to them kids all crazy, getting up in them kids' face. No, we protect the kids. We love the kids. Like Martin said, we love the kids. So if she was in New York, she would have been got gotta. She we would have been da da da. But we would have been gotta. But hey, she's not up here, guys. So at the end of the day, we gotta listen. Keep making them calls. I don't give a fuck. Keep making them calls. She ain't about to do nothing. She ain't got no money to pay no uh, attorneys. And at this point, no court in Florida takes her fucking ass seriously anyways. Every time they see her coming, they be like, oh, this crazy bitch. Hey, you back again? Oh, for divorce? Domestic violence? Suspended license? No insurance? Well, what are you coming up here for? Oh, you, you want to, oh, you want to, no, no, I'm afraid we can't do that. We don't take shit you file down here serious. So you can just go on ahead with that. But y'all, let me tell y'all, keep them kids in y'all prayers. At the end of the day, I do my commentary on this shit, but growing up in a household full of trauma, that shit is not it. Because once you get older, you have to break those, uh, those things that you've learned, right? We got to, I, I do that with myself. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, no, that's not how I, how I grew up is not how I want my house to be. That's why my house is peaceful, right? You know what I'm saying? That's why with my son, I, I, I care. I care more about where um he is in life. You know what I'm saying? Raising him right. than I care about, oh, you know what I'm saying? 
clubs and going out and doing this. I mean, I'm only 27. I just turned 27 in August. So it's like, y'all, I mean, yeah, I mean, y'all know. And y'all, I'm about to get dolled up too. So this that live stay tuned is coming, y'all. It's coming. It's coming, y'all. But anyways, I just wanted to come on here and say I've been peeping it all. Keep calling on her ass. We're going to take her down. They took Osama Bin Laden down. We're going to take her down. Okay? And like I said, a fee. Get a fee. Get a fee. Fuck it. Get her. Get it. I ain't. Listen. I ain't. I, I love it. I love it. Get her ass. Have her ass run her skirt. Like that one. Like when she knocked on the window. I'm on your line. I don't give a fuck, bitch. That's what she did. I don't give a fuck, bitch. And crouched down in the car. They should have busted the window on her, yanked her out the car. Oh, well, hold on now. Let me stop. Let me stop. Hey, let me stop talking about what I would have done. This ain't about me. This is about her. But at the same time, y'all, keep calling on her. Keep getting her. Stay on her neck, y'all. Like I said, who's that girl? Da, 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 da. Come on. But anyways, y'all, yeah. This this been some motherfucking foolishness, y'all. Wood, I don't know how long you got before she start that bullshit again, but get your shit and run quick. Because what we've just witnessed, y'all, is what they've been going through for years. So at this point, mm -mm, they used to this shit. This shit got to come to an end, y'all. I'm Listen, I'm drained. The kids drain. Y'all drain. We just all drain. I said, I, I seen this shit. I watched her go from manic to, I'm not, I'm okay. And then she done, now she in love again. They cut that shit out with wood to find this man in the world. Because he really not. He run he running around mumble rapping and women ears and stuff at, at over there at the the bars and shit like that and two stepping and all the other stuff. You talking about he the finest man in the world? And the girl, no, he ain't. I gawked when I said, I said, oh, what? He, what? Hold on now. Oh no. Then somebody said in my comments, you must want wood, bitch. Please. I'm. That's all I had to say to that. I let it go after that. I said, bitch, please. Wood who? Man, please, I'll take I'll take some wood off a motherfucking tree before I take the, his ass. Girl, please, don't come up in my comments with that. Now, that would be respectful. Now, that would be respectful. I ain't like that. But, yeah, y'all, listen, we're going to, listen, mm -mm. we're going to keep sitting back. We're going to keep reacting to the show, y'all. And like I said, y'all, we got to keep, it's, it's her. It's her. It's not us. It's not us. It's her. We got to keep our eyes on who the demon is. We got to destroy the demon. Like they doing Black Ops or something. I got to take it to the game talk, y'all. So at the end of the day, y'all, we got to keep our eyes on this bitch. Because she going to, it's going to be, we going to get another episode again. Right now, she, she, she acting like ain't nothing happened. Woo, lordy. Y'all see this? Acting like ain't nothing happened. She can grocery shop now. You know what I'm saying? She want to get up and put some Vaseline on her face and all that. I'm like, what's okay? Okay, bet you still crazy. We still know what's coming. We're all, we know what's going on. We're all talking about, we're all predicting it. We know what's going on, bitch. You're crazy. And we, listen, you going to try, you about to try and take everybody to the top of the building and make them leap with your motherfucking ass. Listen, we know what's going on. We peep game. We peeping it, y'all. Stay on her neck. I'm about to stay on her neck too. Okay, y'all. Cause who's that girl? Da -da 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 -da. Come on. But anyways, y'all. Yes, 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 y'all. Make sure y'all are liking these videos. Make sure y'all are is subscribing to this channel, y'all. I got that live coming soon, so stay tuned for that, y'all. And keep them comments coming, cause I really appreciate it. Like I said, the love is tremendously, tremendously, tremendously appreciated, y'all. And, of course, I'm going to be dropping more content. I just be having a lot going on in real time. So, keep going with me on this journey. This channel is growing. We are glowing. We doing everything we need to do, y'all. So, like I say, Tylo's mom, we are out. Bye.